Superman Up in the Sky issue 2 sees Superman begin his intergalactic boxing match with Maito, the mightiest mercenary, which he was brought into conflict with after following the trail of the kidnapped Earth Girl through the galaxy. The two begin their fight and by round 3 they are both exhausted, with Maito knowing Superman will give up first, but the Man of Steel proves he won't. Before round 4, Superman is told by his trainer that Maito is a nobody gun for hire, while he is Superman. The fight continues on, each fighter giving their all hitting harder and harder each time but soon Superman falls. Mido says that's how he does it. He pushes a man to where he has to give everything he's got and then with one hit he can topple the hero. The count begins as Superman gets up and his trainer asks if he's done but Superman asks if he's found the girl and returned to her home but the trainer says he hasn't so he's not done. Over the next rounds Superman proves he has no limits but Mito definitely has limits as the man falls to his knees quitting the match since Superman won't go down and he wants to skip the pain. Later on Superman is found injured and drifting through space by some aliens who bring him aboard. Once on board one of the aliens begins healing Clark and in the process begins feeling and seeing everything Superman does for his planet and the universe. The alien can't save him though without dying so he will dump the body at the next way station. The alien goes about his business getting glimpses of Superman saving Lois. He returns home to his family greeting his children and then seeing his wife, who says her children were worried that their father would not be coming home since he is a healer. He reassures her that everything is okay and as he sleeps, he again has visions of Superman stopping a nuclear warhead decimating the east coast of America. Going to see the dead Superman, the alien says that he knows what he requires but he must know he cannot give it. He says that he knows Clark Kent would never ask him but he understands how he cannot give him what he needs. The alien tells his wife he bonded with Superman when he healed him and he's seen the good he does. His wife wonders what that matters to them but he says that he's saved billions, even them since multiple times he has saved the universe and he will be needed again very soon. His wife says that she needs her husband and their children need their father but she doesn't understand since Superman has Lois. The alien plays with his children, hearing more of the times Superman has defended the weak and saved Lois Lane. He returns to Superman's body knowing that while Lois thinks Superman Superman inspires the people, Clark knows that they inspire him. The alien uses his healing powers on Superman as he hears more of the people who need Superman desperately. The healing takes its toll, killing the alien as Superman returns to life. Later, Superman visits the alien's family, saying before their father died, he left a message for his children in Superman's head. The message says that all can be lost, but no one in the universe is alone. Superman Up in the Sky issue 2 was another really cool continuation of Tom King's space adventure with the Man of Steel. I enjoyed the boxing match segment and how it really showed how resilient Superman is and how he never gives up. It was a bit on the nose with it setting in it in a boxing ring and obviously that's kind of like a trope with stuff like Rocky, how he never gives up in the boxing ring sort of thing. Kind of a trope there but it was really cool. But the segment after that was probably my favorite with Superman proving even while kind of dead he can still inspire people. As for continuing the kidnapping story it kind of did but kind of didn't. We really get just one line saying Mito was sent to stop Superman from finding the child and he challenged him to a boxing match and that's really it. It's kind of like a classic Tom King thing where important things happen off panel and here they're just casually mentioned in the story as if it's no big deal. It's kind of disappointing and kind of wish we got to see him confront Maito first and see that sort of engagement that led to the boxing match but we're just kind of thrown into the story. I'm going to give this issue a 7.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.